You can catch the MTV Video Music Awards on television tonight. Uh, but for those living, working, and driving near the venue where the show is taking place, could be a tough day ahead. CBS News' Jenna DeAngelis joins us live from the Prudential Center in Newark with details. Jenna? Well, Chris and Mary, you can see the red carpet is rolled out behind me for the MTV Video Music Awards. Now, thousands are expected to hear, but with excitement will come street closures, traffic, and delays. Hours from now, the MTV Moonman will make his landing at the Prudential Center, surrounded by some of Hollywood's biggest stars. And the city of Newark says it's prepared. We're treating this like a blizzard. Uh, we're preparing the weather. Forecasters telling us there is six inches of snow. We're preparing for 26 inches of snow. And just like a storm, Newark Public Safety Director Anthony Ambrose says the city is no stranger to big events. We've had the Pope, we've had the President, uh, we had uh, Dazi, was it Dazi Lama? Dalai Lama. Dalai Lama. But this is the first time the MTV Video Music Awards will be held here in its 35 year history. An estimated 15,000 people are expected to attend the show, plus thousands more spectators. Some local businesses are hoping to cash in on the crowds. This has definitely increased our revenue for our businesses here, which is definitely well needed. But officials are warning of street closures all day and rush hour gridlock at night, asking employees and drivers in the area to work around it. Our corporations and businesses, we've asked them to either work from home, stagger their hours. That's not an option for those who work at Nick's Drugs. They deliver prescriptions to customers all over the city daily. Nowhere to park, nowhere to drive, nowhere to move. We're stuck. New Jersey Transit is giving a heads up on social media. Customers may experience large crowds at PSNY, Secaucus Junction, and Newark Penn Station, and buses may be subject to delays and detours. As far as safety goes, the city says there will be more than 300 uniformed officers patrolling in and out of the arena. The city plans to have eyes and ears everywhere. And street closures will begin as early as 8.30 this morning with part of Mulberry Street here closing. Then throughout the day, you'll see more and more street closures. Of course, we have a list for you on our website, cbsnewyork.com. But drivers, if you can avoid this area, you might want to do so. We're live in Newark, New Jersey. Jenna DeAngelis, CBS 2 News. Okay, Jenna, thank you.